Welcome to the Talking Yanks pregame show. My name's John Boy. I'm coming to you from New Jersey. And my co host Jake's coming to you from the bottle of a fifth of whiskey. Jake's hammer. He also cemented the bow. Crossfaded. I am, I am blazed. I am, Crossfaded. Oh Faded Friday. Getting amped up for Yankees at Jays. Playing on the turf. Playing the baseball. Jake, how you doing? Friday? Playing the baseball. Yeah, nice hat. Thanks, dude. Nice hat on you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you Well, no, I'm not going to ask how you're doing. You lost that privilege on your intro there. Man. Dude, I just, I'm, I'm trying my best every day to do good intros. You're doing a lot of noises (laughs) in between. Jim, Yanks are winning. They continue to win. Yeah. Today is their opportunity to win their 10th straight baseball game. Oh, it'd be so cool if they did. Might be part of my what to watch for. Oh, no no spoilers. Spoiler-free show. Is this too loud or is this good? My first what to watch for? Jim smoking a fatty. Fat what? Yes. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, can we do the game stuff now? now we've, we've, You're really loud. You're really loud. Why would you think the loud mic isn't as loud when you bring it right up to your mouth? Are we good now? Like half. No, it's the loud mic. It's off now. You what, know it's off. what about now? That should be good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, okay. That should be good. So you knew that. Well, it's so stupid, Jake. Look at the control setting. Basically. I know. You gotta I have, have a secondary mic. I know, but I it, if so, so if it's over here, it picks up all the noise. I want my voice to sound good while yours sounds terrible. Well, you're doing a poor job of that. That's the only thing you do a poor job of. Thank Jimmy, you. you that, was so, that was so. That was so nice of you. The only thing I do a poor job. I know. Of. Thanks, man. A huge compliment. DJ LeMay, who's leading off, playing first base. Guy plays everywhere. You heard of him? Whoa. I typed the lineup, but didn't input it into my brain. So I'm just seeing now that Gardner is bat- playing se- batting second, playing center field. Man, wow, he's playing second. He may later in the game. He may. Geo is playing third and batting third. Didi Gregorius, the shortstop and lefty from the Netherlands. Netherlands is playing shortstop. Cameron Maben batting. third. Fifth, how about that? Playing right field. Talk Daddy in left field. Romine behind the dish. Ford is DHing. And Vic Valera at second base. J.A. Hapster on the mound. J. Dot A. Dot. J. Dot A. Dot. I love that. Our, our friend Magic Sam, who we haven't referenced in a little while, he sent the J. Dot A. Dot Players Weekend jersey, and he's like, yo, this is a must, right? And I was like, Yo, it's a pretty good non-must. J dot A dot's fantastic. I'm a big fan of it. J dot A dot's pretty good. Jim, I suck. I know what's going on. Okay, <laughs> we went different <laughs> ways with that. Uh, you know, I I have a decent pulse on the Yankees. We watch them play all of their games, and we talk about them regularly. When I looked at today's lineup, I again just it. I don't know if it was Groundhog's Day effect or bad brain or just disbelief of what's happening. But I looked at the lineup and I was like, how? How is this team about to win its 10th straight baseball game? Uh, with half of that streak, we were worried about the starting pitching. It's it's unbelievable. I mean, Gardy finds himself in the two hole. A lot of people would have lost that bet this year. Geo to God is batting third, and we're comfortable with it because he's had back-to-back multi-home run baseball games. And, yeah, man, the rest of the guys, Mike Talkman's best player in baseball. He's hitting sixth. Um, it's it's unbelievable, dude. I'm Like, I, I'm so interested to see tomorrow if I when I wake up and see the lineup 
if I'm like taken aback again because I really was today. I am every day. Gardner batting two is fun, right? So who's so, so like who's Ronald sitting? Case effect just doesn't go away. So Judge is out today, which is a multiplier. I don't care. Good for Judge. Give him a breather. Yesterday, well, yesterday was the first day. Well, I'm not worried about Judge, but I was like, ooh, that's not good because he was swinging at three O pitches and just not making good contact. And it's turf, so all the outfielders are going to play one game each, probably on this turf. That's how they do it. We talked about that yesterday. It's pretty weird. But whatever, that's how they've always done it. So Gardner, Talk, Roma, Gardner, Talk, Babin. So Higgy, Judge, and Glaber are the bench? Yes. And I'm happy with Glaber. I said Glaber should sit. Yeah. I don't care. Sit as many of you need, Glaber. Yeah, again, it's almost gotten to the point, though. Like, you had Tyro in the building. And, like, if you knew you were going to play on turf, like, IL Glaber, and he misses, what, one extra game or something like that? Um. So I don't know. That's and I, I obviously have a little bias there because I love my young prince and he's been raking by the way in AAA. But they're making him do the grounds work. It's unfortunate, but you know you snooze, you lose. AAA really is brutal. You got to play a game, then you got to rake the infield. Can we have a quick private combo? Okay. M- minor league baseball. Yeah. People talk about, and maybe it was back in the day a little more. When people still do like the minor league complaint where they're like, oh, yeah, this this kid spent the last eight years in the minors. Oh, he was 18 to 24 playing baseball. He had to take some long bus rides. Sounds kind of nice. Some bad math there, but that'd be six years. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, 18 to 24 in your normal life. Right. Isn't it's not like the conditions are that much improved in the regular wor- world? Oh, all these lucky guys get to learn accounting and air conditioning. I'm out yeah. here fielding grounders. Those guys, nine to five. Okay, but it is a percentage game. How much money the MLB makes, and then yeah. how much do they make? That's compare contrast. We get it. Okay. So oh anything, yeah, I was fun. riding a bus and eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, well when I was eighteen to twenty four, I was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and getting zero bus rides. I just did nothing with yeah. my life. Yeah. Okay. End private conversation. Romine Ford Valera. Hello. Ford hasn't looked as good as I'd like him to have looked. Damn! Shots fired. Just being honest. That's fair. And Valera hardened face. That's all I have to say. Well, Vic Valera has to go through a two week stretch or so where we doubt him and we think he's really bad. And then he'll be really, really good. That's true. That's the Voight Talkman method. Okay. So he's on pace then. (laughs) Yeah. He's doing a great job. Oh, good job. All right. The Blue Jays lineup, Jake, can you give it to us in your best Canadian accent? Oh, well, hey there. Have you seen these baby Jays knocking around the ballpark? If you haven't, you should check out Bull Bichette. No, we're not saying Bull Buffett. He's at shortstop today, Jim. Is that true? Can he pick it over there? Holy Kalitos. Can he say Kalitos? His dad used to be a ball player too, Jim. Keep up because you're going to hear that about our next guy, Kevin Biggio, playing second base. What a driller, man. This guy, one of the better on-base percentages you'll see for a young player in the majors. Oh, Jim, are we talking about ex-players' kids? Because why don't I tell you about Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? He'll be at the hot corner swinging the bat today. Oh, and everyone's favorite Yankee killer, Randall Gritchick, will be in right field. He's a jerk. Freddie Galbraith, <laughs> he'll be DHing. Wow, does he have some nice flow going? What accent is this turned into? Teoscar Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're in, now we're in South America. He's in center field. Brandon Drury, first base. Derek Fisher, left field. Get hit in the face. And Jansen, DJ, Danny Jansen, Danny Jances, catching for Sean Reed Foley, the, the right winger. Wow, good job, Jake. Thanks. 
Wasn't as good as my bingo hall impression yesterday. Loses focus. Check. Not good. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take things too seriously. Check. Oh. Dude, how bullshit are those report cards? Like, you're just fucking tattling on me to my parents? <laughs> like, chill <laughs> out. Class like, clown. Fuck you. Sorry I'm doing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Clint. Okay, Clint. Yo, did you see yeah, Clint's had Clint's quote today was uh Brian Cashman had a pretty brutally honest combo with me about what it would take for me to come back into the big leagues. So I did a photo shoot about it. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Uh, okay. J A Hap Jake. Happer. J. J. A. 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 Sean Reed Foley. Always get weird when you get three names on the mountain. That's a little bonus. Yeah. Well, J. Haps, 5.2 innings pitch, four earned runs versus Boston last time around. But I feel like we were happier with him than that result. Is that true? Hap versus Boston. Um, I'm having a brain fart right now. That was his last start? Yeah. Let me get let me get in the game logs, Jim. Brought to you by Baseball Reference. They don't sponsor us, but we use them a lot. So there's a little shout out. Uh, 5.24 earned runs, 91 pitches. Um, man, I hey, this is a good sign, Jim, because it seems like it was boring hap. Um, it was hat first price. Yeah, I mean, the Yankees were up 7 nothing. They went up 7-0 in the third, and then he gave up a two-spot in the fifth and a two-spot in the sixth. Um, and, yeah, wasn't he wasn't he an out away from being, like, six and two runs instead of 5.2 and four, which is a totally different start? That's what it was. He was one out away from yeah. a really good start, and then things fell apart. Yeah, yeah that's what happened. Okay. Well, we before, before that, he had a quality start versus Arizona and bad start versus Minnesota in uh, the crazy land and then too good. So whatever. Whatever. Yeah, and, Jim, people, he has been just throwing the ball better. Like, the stats aren't great, and I'm not, you know, I'm not forming a wall between you and your J.A.Hap hate. But he has been throwing the ball better. A couple of those outings, the Minnesota one was Minnesota. What Everything's going on in that ballpark, and he was getting squeezed. And outside of that, I mean, the starts are kind of J-Hap-ish with a hit or two away from being, like, really good starts. So, I don't know. Hap's throwing it better. I'm not, I'm not going into this, like, nervous, like, oh, boy, are we going to have to pull Hap in the third? But okay. now that I've said that, watch, watch all the ex-pros kids go off on him. Are you worried about Randall Gritchick, that jerk? Because he's got a home run versus Hap. A little bit, just because Randall Gritchick's favorite thing to do is play the New York Yankees. Yeah. Randall, if you pretended every team was the New York Yankees, you'd be an incredible ball player. Ain't that the truth? Never said about me either. Well, you never even gave it a shot. You always I pretend really you're playing against the I Red Sox. I got to give it another shot, huh? Yeah, there's so many things I would do different. So many things. Anyway, yeah. J.A. Happ is sharing the mound. That's some baseball yeah. talk. Sharing Imagine. the mound with Sean Reed Foley. Can Sean only one player start on the mound at the start of each pitch? Probably, right? Probably, yeah. I would guess, yeah. Only one player is allowed to start in foul territory. Right. That's that's going to be one day. I mean, someone's just going to start to the right of first base and the infield will do a shift. You have five infielders, no catcher. No catcher. Umpire just taking balls to the junk nonstop. Be funny. Talk about Sean Reed Foley, Jim. Well, he's got two last names because his parents were very indecisive. So yeah. that's good. And his first name, Sean, spelled the way in which I like Sean to be spelled. So that's good. He's from Jacksonville, Florida. That's good. He's been up and down this season. So yeah, born this is like Guam. born in Guam. Yeah. Wow. Good for him. 23 years old. Born in Guam, huh? 
This is going to be yeah. his fifth start on the season. His last start was four innings pitch, one earned run versus Baltimore. Uh, before that, five innings pitch, zero earned runs. Then a relief outing that was good. Then a start that was 5.1, two earned runs. He's been pretty good when he's played, but it's very sparingly, it seems. Yeah, and Jim, I, I don't want to freak you out. Always do. Um, you fucking freak. I, I don't know if you remember last year, the Yankees saw him in his second game ever, and they knocked him around, 4.1, uh, six earned runs. But they saw him a couple weeks later, and he went five innings, ten strikeouts against the Yanks. Is cheating? I didn't say that. Dude, he's another guy that throws his four-seamer a lot. 64% of the time he throws a 94-mile-per-hour four-seamer. Then sliders his secondary pitch, and that's all. He has a curveball and changeup, but they're both thrown under 8% of the time. So it's really just fastball slider with a 10-mile-per-hour difference. That's cool. Good for you, Reed. Cool. I naturally just want to call him Reed. Yeah. Like Reed Foley. That's his full name. I call him Surf. SRF? Surf's up, brah. Surf. You want to blaze another fatty with John Boy? Oh, are you so fucking high right now, Jake? Jim's got those watery eyes again. I guess he's just really drunk for the 100th day of row. <laughs> dude, does this dude drink every night? Damn, man. Damn. All right, Sean Reed Foley. Who's got a home run off him? You know who's got home runs off him? Anduhar. D D Gregorius. No, Anduhar. Dude, Anduhar hasn't even had an at bat versus him. No, it's going to be cool. There's going to be a fun preseason story about Anduhar next year. Like, yeah, it was tough to watch the guys win the World Series, but I'm obviously happy for him, but it gave me the motivation I needed to get better. That's the article. There you go, Brian Hoke. You're welcome. I don't know if Anduhar has a spot on the Yankees next year. But nobody's going to pay for him, so he's going to come into spring training. He'll be healthy. He'll probably rake a little bit, and then they'll get rid of him. Okay. 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 Cool, Jake. Cool. Cool. Glaber Torres got good numbers. DD, two for six. LeMahieu, oh, one for one. How about it? Obviously. Gardner, 0 for five. Edwin. Dude, I forgot Edwin's part of this team every now and then. Yeah. Holy shit. Look at all the Yankees players that faced Sean Reed Foley last time. Glaber, not playing because he's currently constipated. Giancarlo Stan, not playing because he's hurt. Aaron Hicks, hurt. Edwin Encarnacion, hurt. Gary Sanchez, hurt on his way back. Luke Voigt, hurt. Six of them. Six guys. It's pretty nuts. Neil Walker. The home run playing. corker? The home run corker? Aaron Mc- Andrew McCutcheon, he's not playing for the Yanks today. He's not. He's not. Okay, Jake. Pitching path to victory. We were pretty dead on yesterday. Actually, you know what? If anyone wants to say we're never dead on, they're a bunch of liars because it's not really impressive, but if you follow the Yankees every day and are smart and have a brain, you can really figure out what the guys they're going to want to use. Like yesterday, we were like, this is a Sessa day. (laughs) Yeah. And it was. So what's today, Mr. Smarty Pants? Uh, J dot A dot for eight revenge game. He does pitch well against the Blue Jays. I think he has two good starts. Last time we came to Toronto, we lost the first two games and it was Hap in the third game and we needed a good outing and he gave us seven innings pitched, one earned run. So that was good. And then 5.1, two earned run. So he does have a good history versus this Blue Jays team. I do think the four horsemen will be available today if needed. Yeah. Still got to use them, you know? Yeah, Britain actually should pitch, just to let everyone know. Three off days in a row. So Britain should be in this game. IMO. But With a K. What if it's a blowout? Then it's Holder? Love me some Johnny Holds. Yeah? We don't have a... We don't have an opener day coming up, right? I don't believe so. Yankees Probables. Yankees Probables. Brought to you by the New York Yankees, because that's the website where I get those from. Um, No, Jim, they're... Well, actually, Sunday, they don't have a starter listed yet, technically, so... 
So, but even if they're saving for Sunday, that means they can do four horsemen today. Hope Tank gives them something better versus Jacob Wagus Pack. Yeah. The pitcher we're facing tomorrow's name is Jacob Wagus Pack. God, you guys always with your mispronunciation jokes. It's just hilarious. <laughs> I think Wagus Pack is that how you would say it. Wages wait. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll figure it out tomorrow. What's, what's your what to watch for tonight, Jim? Dude, you know what my watch for? You know what my what to watch for is? Tell me. I don't even know, man. It's the bottom of the mm-hmm. order. Like, Okay, it's Didi. Because Didi is now, not today, he's not a premier bat in this lineup. But he's surrounded by them. He's right in the middle of Geo Mabin Talkman. And those three guys, they're the bee's knees, Jakes. They're the cat's pajamas. One more. They're what's it. Okay. They're in like Flynn. No, no more. No more. So if Didi, kind of a lesser known guy, trying to make his keep in the MLB. If he can get up and play to the level of a Gio Urshela, a Cameron Man, a funny thing when that's such sports radio talk, if he can play to the level of a oh Mike Trout. Yeah. Uh, Didi, Didi, get in the mix. You're in the mix. Lineup wise, get in the mix. Got a homer against Reed Foley. Get, get, get some today, Didi. Jim, my, my what to watch for is 10. I think if the Yankees get number 10 today, I think they they go on, like, a streak. Wow, like Cleveland like, Indians 2017 streak? They go on, like, a 22-0 and streak, then lose in the ALDS? Fuck you, Jake. Like Oakland A's. Like, oh, 33? I, I just think right now they've got so much momentum. That like just think about it. if they if they have runners on base early and they get a base knock and they go up on the Blue Jays, you would bet everything they would still win the game. Yeah, like there's no reason not to, and I I just think that's that's going to continue. Um, and again, I gave my Happers Happers throwing the ball okay. Um, Jim, I think if they once they hit double digits, that's a legit big time win streak. And now this team. Know, know how you said they were searching for something to play for? They play for the – if they win tonight, they play for the win streak, and I think that's big. That is big. I, I, I have a different what to watch for now. You already – okay. Geo's going to make a dazzler at third. Okay. Just so, like, two home runs, back-to-back games, multiple home runs. Maybe he doesn't. Get a big home run or a big double day. Goes like one for four with the single, but makes a fucking dazzler of a play at third base. All right. The turf, crazy hop. Cartwheels it through. Cartwheels on the catch. Cartwheels on the throw. Double cartwheel play from Gio Urshela is your what to watch for. Look out. Okay. All right. Going to the homer draft? Homer draft, it's the homer draft. I watched a really cool Ozzy Smith play today. I'll send it to you. Wow. Did you think of him because I said cartwheels? Yeah. It's like I'm in your brain. He's in my brain. You know you're in my brain. Homer draft. My lip glosses popping. My lip glosses cool. What you know about that? What you know about that? Is that how that song goes? What you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know about me? You're all around both of them. What, uh, what happened in the Homer draft yesterday, Jim? Jake's Homer draft streak is impressive. And he thinks I'm going to be not enough of a man to let him know and congratulate him. You're doing a very good job, Jake. I'm proud of you. Everyone in the chat's proud of you. Tom Davis just said three times in a row, so proud of Jake. So proud of Jake. So proud of Jake. So Jake's last Homer streaks, he hasn't not gotten a Homer in five games. Talk about playing for a streak, Jake. You're on the line. Wow. Called Gio yesterday two homers. 
very impressive. I had a, there's this Twitter account and it's called Your Cheer Here and it's a bunch of, it's a cheer squad and you pay them $25 and they do a cheer and they make a video of them cheering it with Smart. pictures. So Luke and I got really excited and I, was, I had it all ready to go. I had a picture of your face and I said, just right. make the end of the cheer an emphatic Jake sucks. Sucks. And it was going to be a great video. Then we got to the payment process and PayPal was like, uh, 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 do not pay that company. That's a scam. <laughs> so, so then I did some I did some digging and I was like, oh, well, that was the most blatant scam ever. But it would have been a really cool thing to have. And yeah. what I'm trying to say is we're cheering for you. Nothing like willing to risk scams to tell one of your best good friends he sucks. I wasn't going to say it. The cheerleaders are going to say it. You're telling them what to say. I just gave them some guidance. A direct message. <laughs> a direct message. I just gave them some guidance. Who's up in the Homer draft here? You. You're not seeing it? Dude, I marked who goes first. Holy smokes, Jim. Let's see. I am going to go with... God, this is a big pick. You know what, Jim? Let me try out this Talkman kid. Okay. Let me try out this Talkman kid who's been the best player in baseball for a month. Jake's first pick is Talkman. I cannot Mike pick. Talkman. I cannot choose Romine, Ford, or <laughs> Talkman. Okay. Okay, Jake. I see your fingers. I don't like them. They're really putting pressure on me. I am taking DJ LeMahieu oh. and Gardner. Nice. I thought about Gardner. I, I like the Guardy pick. Two hole Guardy. You know he's gonna be, he Guardy's gonna be talking so much shit to Judge today. Yeah. Oh, we we got a new two hole hitter, huh, Judgey? Yes. Get comfortable on the bench, bitch. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying uh, that seat while I'm out there busting my ass for the team. Hope you're not getting splinters in your tuchus. It's from sitting on that bench. Fucking, do you get it, Judge? Did you get the joke already? Cuts to Marlon sitting on the bench bare ass full of splinters. <laughs> All right, I'm taking Mike Ford. I'm going with the mics. Wow, Mike Ford, Mike Talkman. Cool, Jake. Thanks, Jim. Over under. We both went over yesterday. We both got Three. it correct. The Yankees over has now hit in six games in a row. Hap versus Reed Foley. Uh, I mean, it was 10 and a half yesterday. It went over. They're either standing pat at 10 and a half or this goes to 11. That's my guess. Yeah, I'm thinking 11 or 11 and a half. I'll go 11 and a half just to be greedy, Jim. Um, what is it? What do you think? I think it's 11. I don't think they got the fucking balls. 10 and a half. Told you. So they do have the balls. Over. Not going to... God, I'm tempted. Yeah, you have to go over. You have to go over until you lose. Otherwise, Feels you're a so dummy. so dumb if Hap and Sean Reed Foley went over and I hit the, I bet the under. Yeah, it's just you can't be dumb. Like Guerrero Gritchuk back-to-back for Hap. That's kind of brutal. Yeah. All right. Now, the next segment on this show, scenes from a hat. Okay. Jimmy is going to pull out a random scene from his hat, and I have to act it out for everyone. Okay. He's reaching into his hat. He's reaching into his hat. Okay. And we have here a frog kissing a snake. Oh, the podcast only people really missed out. Really missed out. No, let's go to let's go to questions from the chat. Questions from the chat instead. A lot yeah. of a lot of uh, 
Whose line is it anyway is reference out of you lately. Whose line is it anyway? A's are up 2-0 in the seventh, Jim. Congratulations to the Oakland Athletics. Um, okay. Sevy threw off a mound today. Hell yeah. Go Sevy, go Sevy, go. Go Sevy, go Sevy, go. Jake sucks. They're putting it out to next time. Uh, 20, so what's that? 23 pitches today off the mound. Why 23? I don't know. I'm guessing it was one of those because they originally said 30. So I'm thinking it was one of those situations where he threw, threw a couple good ones and it was like, all right. Today's a win. You had 30. We only gave you 23. Yeah. Um, are super chats activated? They are not. I have to do that on this YouTube channel. Someone asked how, how come we're not streaming the pregame shows on John Boy Media. More views. I'm not a slave to the views. Yeah. When we go on the John Boy Media channel, the chat is brutal. It's not people who want to talk about the upcoming game. It's just fucking people requesting breakdowns which is nice yeah. i like this channel better if you want to uh join the the pregame show for the most part we will be on this channel please subscribe once we get to a thousand subscribers we can utilize super chats and stuff like that we can't do that until we get to a thousand subscribers so there you go um serious question so prepare yourself jake prepared do you like pizza I do. I do. I know what it is, Jim. It's a fat guy trick that I tell myself I'm not crazy about pizza, and then I have a good pizza, and I'm like, oh, shit. You move back to the East Coast, you're going to fall right back in love with pizza. No, I don't list I, – like, I, I genuinely can't list pizza as a regular food option. That's not an option for me. It wasn't when I lived in California at all. When I moved back to New Jersey and like the whole fucking region does pizza Fridays, you kind of easily fall back in line with like, all right, let's get pizza. It's Friday. No, I can't. I live in a one mile town and there's 10 pizza places. Right. And they all have an hour wait every Friday. Yes. (laughs) It's nuts. Um, Will you ever stream on Twitch? I don't know. I don't know either. I, I set up a Twitch. We're scared of Twitch. Scared of Twitch. I don't. Some some Twitch streamer streamed himself watching my breakdown video. Yeah. And then I watched him watch that. And the whole world, right. whole whole thing was kind of odd. I was like, well, we're all just watching each other at this point. How did Twitch views work and stuff? I don't know. I think we sound dumb. I think there's young people in here. Are they the same as YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. YouTube has been pretty kind to us. Uh, do, 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 do. Mets or Red Sox? Who will have a better record at the end of the season? Wow. Red Sox. Okay, cool. You going to pick? I don't know what their records are right now. Are they similar? Okay. We could look that up. I'll go Red Sox. Mets have a really tough stretch the rest of the way. Yeah. That question could look silly in two weeks. Yeah. Um, okay. Only when Drake drain clog videos are back. Ah, King Carter. I got to get him a drain video. Yeah. Dude, have you ever seen that account? It's no. just, it's like professional people, like I guess sewage waste management plumbers for the fucking earth. Mm-hmm. They go around unclogging drains and like sewer systems and stuff. And I've made a video of watching it. Now he wants another one, so. Nice. Um dude, 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 Jake should pick someone not starting. Go for a pinch hit homer. Yeah, that would have been ballsy of you. Yeah. You didn't you want to do that with Hicks and then he actually did get a pinch hit homer? Yeah, like it actually happened. Um, yeah, I don't know. It would be Judge today. Judge is like the only option because Glaber's still hurt. And I don't think they're going to pitch hit him at any point in this game. I think they're going to give him the full day off. Yeah. This is, your, this is your nine today. <laughs> yeah. Judge went 0 for 5 versus some bad pitchers. Now he gets a day off. Should we be worried? I'm not really worried. No. Yeah. 
Uh, Preston Allen said Jake is the best. Thanks, PA. Daniel Packer wants to know how old we are. Jake's, t- are you? He guessed twenty nine, which is a good guess. That's how old you are. I'm twenty nine. <laughs> Could you hear that? I heard something. I didn't until it was. Katie's watching a show in the next room, and she yeah. just like she's watching a show alone, and she just did fuck him up, dude. Nice. <laughs> Again, we're really getting into that show she's watching. Been locked in. Nice. Uh, fuck, it, it never heard her do the clap thing. Okay. Uh, John Boy, why don't you like the Ray's Twitter account? Oh, I'm not a fan of bad humor and bad jokes. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. That's the main issue with that account. If I thought... Soccer mom humor was funny. Right. And the most generic, basic shit talking was clever. Right. I'd enjoy the Ray's Twitter account. But I don't. I think they're embarrassment and bad for MLB's social presence. Boom roasted. Yeah. Boom roasted. All right. That's it. That's it, Jake. Do your last words, and we're out of here. I commented on Johnny Damon's Instagram today. Thanks, everyone. Wow. It's dash.